dear students of uh, grade 11 business study group assalamu alaikum how are you hope everybody is fine we were learning accounts receivable allowance method it is uh, chapter 6 so we already learned direct write-off method and allowance method how to record bad debt and other related transactions let us see how accounts receivable can be disposed we know when we are doing credit sale that times accounts receivable occurred this accounts receivable is possible to dispose do you know how there are many factor who are receiving this accounts receivable on some charges so how they are doing this suppose we are having an accounts receivable they'll pay the money later so we can dispose our accounts receivable to a factor you should understand what is factor a common sale of receivable is a sale to a factor a factor is a finance company or bank that buys receivable that means we can sell our receivable to a bank or a company who will pay us now and later on they will collect the money from our customer so what is their interest they will charge some amount on us the percentage may be one to three percent so let us see how we will record that suppose we want to dispose our accounts receivable Amounting Taka one lakh. Our accounts receivable one lakh. We want to dispose it to a bank. Maybe the name of the bank is ABC Bank. So the gave us condition they will charge two percent service charge for that so how much will be the service charge we'll calculate on one lakh two percent so it will be two thousand so this two thousand is service charge that means if we dispose that means if we sell our accounts receivable about amounting taka one lakh we'll now get taka ninety eight thousand that is one lakh if we minus two thousand we'll get ninety eight thousand instead of 1 lakh we'll get 98000 now let us see what will be the journal for that as now we'll receive the money so we'll receive cash we'll write cash debit 
then service charge is an expense for us so service charge also will be debit we'll write and our accounts receivable will be decreased that means it will go from us some other company bank we are selling it to bank abc bank so they will get it so as our accounts receivable is decreasing it will be credit will write Now, how much the amount will be? Our accounts receivable was 1 lakh. It will remain same. 1 lakh. Service chairs, we calculated 2000. It will be 2000. And cash, we supposed to receive 98000. We need to write 98000. Now, look at the journal. will receive cash 98000 so cash account debit 98000 service charge is our expense so it is also debit 2000 and account receivable is our asset the value of asset is decreasing by 1 lakh so accounts receivable become credited for 1 lakh so this is how we can dispose or sell our accounts receivable hope you understood uh, nicely and you can solve these types of uh, problem another thing student you want to know nowadays you know the world is very fast uh, we are not just selling uh, on credit and uh, for cash only now various bank cards also used we can sell uh through visa or mastercard and also uh, customer can use credit card also so how we will record that you should remember one thing that is if it is visa or mastercard that will be considered as cash sales but if it is credit card it will not be considered as cash sales that we will consider as credit sales so when a visa card is used that times also bank is charging a service charge suppose if we sell that is our sales is 10,000 taka we sold 10,000 taka through visa card and if there is an option that uh, they will charge suppose 1% service charge for that. So we will calculate 1% first that is 10,000 into 1%. So it will be 100 taka. Yes. So our service charge is 1000 taka. We sold via Visa card. So we'll receive the money now. That means we'll get cash. Our journal entry will be cash debit. Then service charge debit and then sales credit so our sales will remain same that is 10000 service charge is 100 and we'll receive cash 9900 Hope you understood. I'm telling again. 
we sold goods for 10,000 taka. Customer paid the value using Visa card or MasterCard. Then bank condition is it is not known by the customer. We know it is condition with the bank and us. That is they will charge one percent service charge if customer use Visa card or MasterCard. So what will be taken by the bank that cannot be our receipt? money or our income so on 10,000 we'll calculate 1% the amount is coming 100 taka that means if we sell 10,000 via visa card or MasterCard 100 will be our extra expenditure so finally we'll receive at once when we sold we'll receive the cash from the bank that is uh, we'll receive 9,900. That is from 10,000. We deducted 100. We got 9,900. So our cash will receive 9,900. And we'll debit service charge expense 100. And sales will be credited 10,000 accordingly. On the other hand, we can sell via credit card also then as we told us if the condition are same that is we sold 10,000 and uh, the interest rate that is the service charge if it is also 1% that means 100 will get less but will not get the money at the same time of selling so we cannot write cash account in that situation we have to write accounts receivable so instead of cash here accounts receivable will be debited the calculation what is the service charge mentioned in the condition will uh, do accordingly if it is one percent we'll calculate one percent if it is 2%, we will calculate 2% and accordingly we will do. But the journal entry will be accounts receivable debit. Then service charge account also will be debited and the sales will be credited. Okay, in that case, uh, the credit card issuer will pay the money later on. When they will pay the money, it may be after one week, after 15 days, whenever it is when they are paying, that times we will get the money. So, that times when we will get money, that times we will write, as we will receive cash, we will write cash account debit and that times our accounts receivable will be credited what will be the amount of course we will not get the service charge as our service charge was 100 we will receive 9900 hope you understood this point so like this, you can uh, practice at your home and see you again very soon. Thank you. Continue studying. Allah Hafiz.